Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Joel. Today we'll be doing a super fun combo on this 16 by 20 inch Artist Loft number two canvas. We're gonna be doing a dump and swirl swipe, some chameleon cells, a ribbon pour with some embellishments. So these are the products I'll be using. My paints will be mixed with American Floetrol, two and a half parts Floetrol, one part paint. I'm also going to be mixing up some paint for a swipe using that Amsterdam Titanium White mixed with Australian Floetrol. So today my primary colors are going to be neons, the neon green, neon pink, and my here's my neon blue. Yeah, so I'm going to be using this Australian Floetrol for my swiping. And I'm going to take this Flood Pen Troll and just utilize a couple drops here and there for some chameleon cells. I also have this Glow in the Dark by Craft Smart. I can throw that here and there. Need to get rid of that stuff. And I'll be using this Crimson in with the Dump and Swirl. It's a uh, ready to pour paint by Artist Sloth. So I'll just be cutting that with one part Floetrol. So for my background color, I'll be using this Artist Loft White Soft Body mixed with the standard Floetrol, two and a half parts Floetrol, one part paint. So I'm gonna get my background poured out here and uh, we'll listen to some tunes and I'll talk to you in a couple minutes. So I got my canvas ready to go. I'm going to put some paint in the middle, these different colors. This is uh, Amsterdam with some of the blue neon in it. So that will glow under a black light. Same with this. This just has the American Floetrol, not the uh, Australian. Here's some black with some blue mixed in it. No, oh, that's the neon. I guess the first one was the uh, just regular glow in the dark craft smart. And here's some of the crimson I mixed with some of the blue. And I think I darkened it a little teeny bit with the black. I was trying to get that to cover most of the uh, other colors, but it just kind of sank into the middle. But luckily it created some cells in the process. So now I'm going to dump this paint from side to side, to and fro, corner to corner, get the canvas completely covered, stretch it out how I like it. Keep bringing my paint back to center, then tip in the opposite directions. Then go for your corners. Back to center a little bit. You can hit the uh, other corner, opposite corner. Paying attention to the things I like on the canvas, what cells I don't want to get rid of by accident. Get the canvas completely covered. I'm also trying to consider the uh, fluorescent paint, the neon paint that I have, so that it looks cool under a black light. So try not to dump all that off. Okie dokie, so that's the last corner. 
Okay, I'm going to speed things up a little bit here. I'm just trying to get the composition balanced how I like it, and uh, I'll talk to you in a sec. Alright, so as you can see, this thing's pretty darn ugly. <laughs> so we're going to have to spice it up in a little bit, add some color here and there, and, and uh, try some other techniques on it. Even if you have something hideous, you don't give up on it. You just try to then it's at least time to experiment. So now, what I have is a rubber-tipped paintbrush that I've dipped in the silicone, the pin trawl, and I'm dabbing it into the canvas just barely touching it and it's going to create large cells so i'm going to do some patterns with this technique here you'll see it this is back to regular speed right here i just dip it in there and then just start poking a little bit and the cells will come out so i'm going to continue on with this for a while and you'll see what happens and then we're going to try some other stuff. Alright, so that technique added some dimension to it. Now I'm ready to do some swiping. So I have my Amsterdam White mixed with Australian Floetrol and then a dab of the blue, neon blue, so it, this will glow under a black light. I'm going to do some swiping here with this palette knife. Just play around with it. And I'm going to do the same thing with some other colors that are also mixed with the Australian flow trough. So I'm just going to do a bunch of swipe in here and I'll talk to you in a bit.
All right, so I spun the canvas a bit to stretch out the uh, image. Now I'm just going to add some highlights here and there, a little mini ribbon pour, see what I can come up with. Still working on this concept, still experimenting. So far, it's okay. <laughs> But it ends up being pretty cool, I think, especially under the black light. You just gotta stick stick with it and hang tough. All right, so we're going to be cutting back to normal speed here in a second, right here. And uh, I'm going to show you what it looked like after it was dried out. So here it is, the dry version. Quite a bit darker. Now here it is under black light. It ended up being pretty cool. Hope you like it. I'm going to be cutting away to a close-up version under normal lighting when it was still wet. It's got a lot of minuscule crazy cells in it. Nice interaction with the paint. Those are the cells from the pin troll. Those are the swipes. You can see the ribbon pour. Here's the close up under black light. So it's cool, you can see purple, green, blue, reddish tints, almost white here and there. Really lights up nice. Thank everybody for checking out this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. I really, really appreciate it as always. I also want to thank once again the Surf Zombies for providing the background music. They're awesome. Check out some of my other videos, leave comments, and I will see you next week. Thanks a lot.